Welcome back, my friends. Get ready for your daily thrifting dose today at the Goodwill Fort Lauderdale outlet, affectionately known as the bins. Here, everything is just jumbled together. So make sure to stay till the end to see what I got and check me out on the app Whatnot so you can see my live auctions where I sell a lot of the stuff that I find in these videos. See you at the reveal. Now it's time to head back home to the very heart of Boca to see what I snatched up and make sure to join me on the Whatnot app where you can see my live auctions and I sell a lot of what I find in these videos. The link is in the description box below this video. First up, I'm so excited about finding this pink fabulous Barbie couch. My plan is to use this to maybe display jewelry, items, and my Whatnot live auctions. I don't know, I just had to have it. Next is something a little more serious. <laughs> these are these beautiful like linen placemats with embroidery and beads. Really beautiful. I found this set and it's a whole set of six, which I thought was really cool because I like the more sets the merrier. And I think I'm going to put this in my show about um, romantic, uh, nostalgic, antique um, items. It's called Empire Strikes Back. Okay, so next here, I have this awesome clock. Look how its eyes, this teddy bear's eyes wiggle back and forth. I suppose that's in keeping with the time. I haven't tried it yet to see if the battery works, but I think it's cute regardless, just as an as accent piece. Here is this gorgeous, looks to me very, very old, beaded handbag or purse. Um, so the clasp is even beaded, this metal clasp is beaded, really refined. Inside it has some age spots on the silk, so I'm going to see if I can work those out. It has this beautiful golden metal chain. Everything about this is really wonderful. It's the detail, the attention to detail, the magnificence of the work. It's only missing one teeny small bead there at the bottom. I, this is gonna be hard to let go of. <laughs> and here I found this precious, little precious moments girl. Now it looks to me like maybe she was part of a set and like she's whispering. I'm envisioning her like whispering to a little kitty or a little puppy. Uh, if you know, let me know in the comments. And here is a precious little miniature teacup or like a miniature, yeah, a miniature teacup with a romantic, I'm trying to focus it, there you go, a romantic scene. You know, those old world romantic scenes, Sean Patrick, that I love so much. And it has no markings, it was just super cute, you know, for an espresso. An espresso machines need something fancy, right? And here is this gorgeous silk shawl, silk scarf. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get over how nice this was. It has no flaws, it is 100% silk. I'll show you the tag in a second. And then, you know, the fringe work on it, beautiful. The color is, is sweet, a peach and then a pink. And there's the tag showing you that 100% silk. So I was delighted with this find. Absolutely lovely, I can't wait to wear it. And another scarf that I found is not silk, but it's really cool because it's that vintage Liz Claiborne from like the 90s. If you've lived through that time, you remember that brand Liz Claiborne was so popular. She even had this perfume that was shaped like a triangle. Let me know in the comments if you remember it. And I found this set of beautiful napkins, embroidered, really sweet, um, a set of four. I loved that it had cut work and embroidery, and I just found that they were really in great condition and happy to get them. I got this book from Walt Disney's World of Fantasy. Now the cover is torn up quite a bit, but I'm going to see if I can tape it with some archival tape. And then the inside flap, I'll show you some of the pages here so you can get a really good feel. I'm trying to find for you the um, title page in terms of copyright and so forth. Um, it was, I believe, 1985. Yeah, that's when it was, um, when this book was created and 
printed. And look inside, it has, it's a treasure trove of sketches and renderings and how they made all of these classic Disney cartoons that we know and love. I mean, the art is phenomenal. Information about the artists, just the history. There's so much in here. This book, just to keep it as is intact, or even to, some people like to take out pictures from these old books and frame them. Um, I mean, I guess once that's happened, it's happened, but I kind of like it in the book. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Isn't that an amazing find? Really love it. I also found this vintage children's book, ABCs. It's so sweet. Gosh, look at those colors. I just love those vintage colors. And I thought this would be a fun thing to add to maybe a show on whatnot for children's books and children's things. I also found these new old stock. <laughs> they were new in their bags. Looks like from the 80s bears. And another old book. Now this book is called The Three Little Puppies. And inside it's got photographs and collage so it's some kind of a hybrid and like cutting edge stuff for the time now we all remember this guy how the Grinch stole Christmas um, I believe this is an older one I did try to look for the uh, the actual copyright date on it and I'm gonna have to do some research with the ISBN number on the back because it didn't have a date of printing on it but it looks a little bit older and my last thing to show you I don't normally show you clothing that I got but this one I couldn't resist I can't wait to wear this to a concert or something like that I have a friend that I like to go to concerts with um, and I, I thought this was fun it has this beautiful crochet and sequins it's even more dazzling in, in reality a little bit more holographic than gold that's showing up here on camera so thanks for watching join me on whatnot can't wait to see you at my live auctions leave me some comments below check out the description bye